Yesterday we had a lot of rain and we know that there is definitely water getting in the plane somewhere. We've actually been running a fan pretty much 24 seven to try to keep it dry in here, make sure we don't have mold and things like that growing. We wanted to come out during the rain and kind of see where the leaking was happening. There was water coming in through here, kind of dripping down. You can still see that there's water on the chair and on the floor here. Uh, so that's one of the spots we need to figure out where it's coming in. We are going to be removing some of these overhead bins. And so when we do that, we'll, we should get a better idea of where the water is actually coming in from. Also up here, you can see that there is some foil tape um, that they tried to seal things off with. And then from the outside, they caulked to fill to the foil tape. But there was still some leaking going on yesterday during the heavy rains. You can kind of see the spot still on the floor here, even through the carpet. So we'll have to make sure we dry that out today. But we are definitely going to be doing some problem solving, trying to figure out where's the rain coming from? How can we seal it I off? I think it is passenger number eight here. I don't know if you can see that. Row, would it be, would it be row A? Number eight, bro. Yeah, I don't know if you can see these rivets up in here, but these two are leaking on me. I don't know. I'm gonna hit it from the bottom, and I'm gonna go from the top side too, just to make sure. Because the last thing we want is this thing actually leaking after we spend so much time remodeling it. dogs need a haircut we're gonna go ahead and jump up there and talk it from the top all right there's that hatch again we are looking for a row four so we are leaking looks like they cocked it before you can see pinholes here and it looks like there's some holes here so we're gonna fill those in and then these these are just tin foil or not tin foil but foil tape so we gotta seal all those up. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh no, I just stepped right in my work. Anyways, what I was going to show you is, I believe those two rivets that I cocked on the inside, I don't know if you can see that. I think that little bit, these, oh, right there. I don't know if you can see that movement. Can you see that movement? Probably not, but I think that's 
That's where it's coming through. <laughs> just a little spot. All right, so we just got done caulking the plane and usually what I do is I get a nail that's going to fit in the end there and actually come into the bigger part of the caulk tube. So you go ahead and stick that in there. It's gonna wanna creep out a little bit and then I don't know if you've ever heard of these little things. Little red caps. They're kinda like condoms for your tube of caulk. Sits right on there. Just like that. I'm gonna use that again when we seal some of the windows, so it keeps it from drying up. That way we can use it because I got about half a tube left. All right, it's raining. Let's see if uh, those leaks actually got sealed. Can't remember. Oh, right here. Seed eight. Remember seed eight? That's actually caulk, not water. So. I used clear silicone. Looks good. Looks good there. Other big spot was seat four. This was all sealed with caulk, so I think we're doing good. Don't see any dripping. One of the other big things was it dripping on the underside of this. And that feels dry. The seat's dry. It's excellent. I'm gonna lift this carpet again and see if it got wet under there. Nope. So we're doing good so far. We're so relieved that we won't have to worry about any soggy cargo on our 32 passenger commercial airplane. Unfortunately, there's still quite a bit of water coming in through these crappy cockpit windows. Watch our next video to see how we plan to remedy that.